Hey folks, welcome back. Episode 3 of Stranded Alien Dawn. Try not to be too noisy here. They're sleeping. But uh, you'll notice that the, the screen looks a little different. I've realized that I can turn a lot of things off and just kind of enjoy the scenery here. But this guy turns on our supplies, our numbers. This guy shows it to us this way. Here's our faces, which don't need to be there, but it's really convenient to click them rather than trying to click through all the backgrounds and figure out which one is whoever that is. Simon. So that's easier. And you are what? Oh, you're telling me where they are and what they're doing. and That's kind of nice to know, too. But, oh, that just reminds me. Didn't get to see this last time. They celebrated their, their, uh, well, their, their celebration around the campfire. Gave him a plus 20 for a whole day. So you want to catch as many of those celebrations as you can. Rita got it. She's a little unrelaxed, and I'm worried that relaxation is going to become a thing. Um, Paulette was there also, as well as delighted by Carter, and decently fed and ate at a table. Carter went to bed early, and he didn't get the plus 20. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was a little too tired. He was tuckered out. Anyway... This is the second time I've recorded this episode, so I'm going to be going through some serious deja vu moments here. Um, <clears throat> I think you'll, hopefully you'll notice that the volumes are better as far as my voice, and the video is crisper and cleaner. I've been doing a lot of fine-tuning, and in the process pretty much just broke my video editor and upgraded to the current version of it. I'm on Video, Video Studio 2022, and it's actually able to take a high-quality video from OSB, o OBS and uh, do something with it. It was, it was so laggy and pixelated, I couldn't even see what I was editing. So I took a couple days off and did nothing. So I think I'm back in business again. That's the plan. Let's get this thing running. That homework's kind of out of the way. Wanted to see what was on these shelves. We loaded the shelves with different things. We never got a chance to really go in and take a peek. So this is this center vertical column is considered one shelf and on it. First aid kits and emergency rations. So we don't have any meals yet. We need to get into our our cook stove and figure that out. In fact, can I do that while watching? Yeah, these guys are going to be getting up pretty soon. Um, first of all, there's Simon. What is the schedule to get up? Wake up at 7 a.m. Simon must have finished his sleep 100% at 5 a.m. and said that's enough. And he's up. Curious to see if he's going to go and do any research, which is what right now? Construction basics. Yeah, just finishing that. So, or is he going to relax? Do I have to tell him to relax? His relaxation is at 45%. Wish I knew what to do about that. Let's schedule... How about we stick relax in the middle of the day and just see what they do with it? Let's try that. So, I guess if he was relaxation starved, he might go and take a walk right now. That's possible. Um, although he has bothered Paulette, disturbed her sleep. <clears throat> I don't think he affected these two yet. Anyway, just watching how the game works and interacts and whatnot but let's get back to this cook stove real quick while they're doing their thing we've got quick recipes tasty recipes chef recipes we can choose to have it refueled i see there's 10 fuel in there or we can choose to extinguish it okay rim world had what simple meals fine meals and some kind of a high-end luxury meals was that the word paulette is up seven o'clock Carter and Rita are still sleeping beyond seven so they didn't automatically get up just because the schedule told them to okay so they're gonna sleep until because it's still set to anything right now that's probably why anyway the three levels of meals in RimWorld I'm guessing is similar to the three how do I oh right there to the three levels in this game bread 
Wait, did I do that right? Quick recipes. Oh, here they are over here. I, I was waiting for a pop-up like this over here to show up. So, grain porridge. Um, I see a plus six on happiness effect. Oh, Paulette went to work, even though she was on anything. Okay. Uh, Carter just got up, so he finished his sleep. Plus six on happiness for the... Let's back out of that. Pause. For the quick recipes. Tasty recipes. Bread. We've got plus 12 for happiness. And chef's recipes. Fruit cake. Plus 18 happiness. Okay. And that is consistent down the line. Okay. So, if we need to boost their happiness, we need to provide them with better meals. Just like RimWorld. Great. Good to know. Um, porridge. Let's go back and read that. Boil a quick grain porridge. Okay, reading's done. And <laughs> so, happiness. Amount for one meal is 10 grain per one meal. Okay. So we do need to grow some serious corn, don't we? If we're going to have uh, oatmeal every morning or porridge. Okay. Um, let's set a target of something like always having four around. So if that is our only breakfast for a while, there is one for everybody each day. Okay. We'll go that route. RimWorld had a feature of do this until but then don't do it again unless you know like dwarf fortress has a lot of uh, variables behind all of their instructions so when it hits three she doesn't go in and make another one she waits till if we can set it for two and when she when it hits two meals left she'll go and make a couple more so she's not always running in to go and do just one meal so i don't see that here but maybe that will pop in at some point with a, a future update. Anyway, so we've got the stove seen and figured out. We've seen some of the shelves there. Let's, we've got uh, other items in here. Um, oh, she's grabbing some of the cloth, there's the word. And we've got our laser pistol. You know, I'm curious about something. I wonder what the laser pistol can do compared to the railgun sniper. Let's have Paulette, who had the lowest combat skill, grab instead the right click, equip laser pistol. And we'll see what she can do versus the others, just out of curiosity. And it might save a railgun sniper for probably Rita. She's probably going to be the one that uses hers up first because she's our best shot at the moment. She's probably the one we're going to be relying on to save our butts. So <laughs> let's, let's leave a, a good rifle for her just in case by the time we get to that point we're not making our own yet. All right, so with that, any other important notes from last time? Need more stone queued up. In fact, let's queue up quite a few different uh, um, resources stone rock mine you we did trigger one of these to be uh, looked at let's grab all the bushes we can see does that work yes it does i just double clicked on it cut you trees let's get up in here we did clear this stuff out let's clear now let's zoom in here a little bit you let's cut you and I see. That makes quite a dip down in there. So that's kind of a natural pathway into this area. Oh, okay. What else do we want to do? Let's clear out this corner a little bit. Zoom down in and... Is there... Grain porridge nice. Is there... I wish I could just hit a button and say cut. If I hit X... No, that doesn't work. If I hit enter... No. Okay, so cut. Well, I guess I could just... Now... That doesn't actually cut it. Okay. I got to go over there and click it. All right. Anyway, you cut. And I think there's a log hiding in there. Right there. Cut you. So that cleans up that corner a little bit. Just resources. Just get them in. Um, I'm seeing numbers. At least twig numbers are, are low. We've got these queued up for our um, uh, planting area. 
And let's cue these up too. Now, they're not actually getting to cutting. Well, when Rita's done with harvesting, I think she will transition into cutting. Yeah, it's a number two, but harvest and plant are her number ones. So if we need her to observe some more, then we need to assign her manually. Um, Simon, how about as soon as you're done with this, let's get you to go observe those mushrooms. Still want to get those going. So we've got green porridge now. And is that on a shelf over here? There's two of them. Okay. Construction basics is done. Simon, come on up here and figure out... Is there a closer one? I did find more of those under here. That's a log. There. <clears throat> Come on up in here and observe this one. So let's figure out what those are. Um, drying rack is the last thing on the list. We built this, we didn't get to see it. So let's figure out what, what this guy does. Raw red meat into dried meat hides into leather. Okay, and looks like we can do two at a time. So, does the bigger one just do more of them, or does it do more things? How do we process the, what I'm assuming is like a tobacco leaf over here? We haven't observed it to find out, but let's wait and observe that. In fact, I'm curious to figure that out soon. Rita is eating. When she's done, let's just have her walk over there and observe that. Let's figure out mushrooms and broadleaf plants today. See what that means and see if it suddenly shows up as something on this list. Otherwise, what's happening out here? Carter is eating. Rita is eating. Paulette is cooking. Simon is observing. Got critters out over here. Just kind of keeping a daily inventory of what animals, beasties, have moved in to our land. Now, I've seen these guys. Oh, he is still marked for butcher. So where does that come in to schedule? Who butchers? Or not schedule. Stop. Activities. Is that scavenge? Is that cook? It's hunt. I'll bet you it's hunt. Which means Rita should naturally... Am I paused? No, let's pause. Should naturally drop into hunt before she goes to cut. She is harvesting still. When harvesting is done, right here, there, well, there might be some delivering by then. There are a lot of downed trees, so it's possible. Otherwise, she will drop into handling and or hunting. I wonder if this little guy is 32%. It was 33 a moment ago. It's still going to be around for that. I wish I... Can I assign that just to find out what it does? If I tell you to butcher, you are transporting. Okay. So butchering is transporting. Hmm. Go butcher that. Get what little is left there and let's see what it does to our cooking orders on the stove yeah anyway we did just get building basics so we want to look at these and was defense there before i don't remember if defense was there before i know i never clicked on it i wonder if it was there before i have to go back and look so fences doors gates traps meat Okay, light and heat are new. A wall torch, a fireplace. And these are grayed out because we don't have metal alloys and animal fats. Hmm. Wall torch. Let's go pop some of those in, say, over our oh, research bench and cook stove. Can I... I can't... I can go outside, but not inside. So we'll go there and over this guy. All right, so two lights over there. And Carter's transporting more pants. We've got lots of pants. I 
tell you. Can you find uh, some shirts or a couple of jackets would be nice. Actually, another railgun sniper. Can I uh, can I request that? Um, I'm going to pause here. I just noticed the lighting is starting to change color. It's already 1700. 18, it starts getting dark. Let's pause here. Simon is observing the mushroom still. And let's play with building while we can before it gets dark. Building. We've got floors, flooring, walls, roofs. I take it whole rooms. Four walls, floor, and a roof. The main elements of a room. Okay. I've seen solid content use these. And it gives you a roof right out to the edge of the walls. I like to build the roofs with an, with eaves, with an overhang. So you can set things under a roof, but not necessarily inside. And this doesn't let you do that. You've got to build the individual parts in order to get the roof to extend over a little bit. And there's no way to go back and, and edit it. So I'll probably go this route rather than that route. Doorways, doors, double doorways, small windows, large windows, tall windows that need metal, and stairs. Okay, so what kind of a structure should we build? We're looking out over here, or are we looking out over here? Let's take a few minutes and just think about this. I mean, there are other places to go. We could bite the bullet early and get everything moved over to another location. Let's just, I guess, take a peek. We're into evening. It looks like there's kind of a, a fog or a mist settling in. It's not crisp and clear like it was a little while ago. What am I hearing? Water. Yeah. Hearing the water splashing in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> over in here, a kind of a nice little area. Um, seems like we had mushrooms in here somewhere as well. Lots more hay grass. Big field of this. Is the purple... No, just these guys. Okay, so that's not a new plant. What is down this corridor? Oh, we just hit the wall. Okay, that's as far as we go. Yeah, that's that's frustrating building near the end of a wall. Or the, the end of the map. Hello. Hmm, our lizard parrot. Because um, you find yourself not only sometimes unable to fence yourself in because you've run out of map, but... You kind of wonder if the uh, the bugs can walk around your walls when your walls don't end on something. Now, I guess we'll just stick to where we are. So, up in here, what is our permanent view? Are we looking out into this valley here? Are we looking... I think we're looking out here somehow. I guess looking right over the top of us. Yeah, I mean, that that is quite a an interesting feature to have a in our view and we'll clean up some of the wrecks out here as we uh, as we finish off the scavenging yeah let's make this our view in fact we might just take all the trees out right in here look out this way make a pathway that comes up here though I don't think pathways are a thing on this map but we'll pretend anyway let's let's do it here so front door is really what I'm getting to where's the front door building floor wood <clears throat> all right place it cancel it z and x up and down place multiples hold shift to allow for bit overlapping over existing instances of the structure press control okay remember all that uh, z and x okay course you can go up as high as five levels but it's five times as much building materials to make it hmm if we keep it down below it's not as dramatic looking but for the beginning structure it does uh hmm let's go up one level that way we can have a little bit of a porch out there and it'll look like it so i have heard that five by five is a good room size for them gives them a little bit of a happiness bonus though i've seen five by four doing the same thing what have we got there three by five so there is the minimum for a bedroom okay 
So if we were to put a string of four bedrooms in, that is five by 16. That's already more logs than we have cut down in all of our episodes combined. Let's bless two of them with bedrooms to start with. <laughs> so there's two four by fives. And then let's put a hallway down this down the middle of the structure. The, so there's two more. And if you don't picture what I just did, I'll show you here in a moment. And then we can add more rooms off to this side for common space. So I'm going to go with there. And for that to make sense, though so it wants me to put a, a front door in. Front door. Um... I want a porch as well, but let's R there. If we front door off this way, there'll be more building over here is what I'm getting at. So the center, but there's going to be a porch. Let's cancel that. So we just have that and let's go ahead and put the porch in for the moment. Hmm. I know, I know. So just bear with me here a moment. Because when I put the overhang of the roof over the porch, it will auto-build that floor for me. I've seen that done. Okay, so walls, wood. Let's put a perimeter up. And just for simplicity's sake, we'll go ahead and build the bedroom so you can visualize them. And then... Okay, can I go back to there? I cannot... Okay, click out, start over. Building. Wall. Okay, you're going to there, you're going to there. So two bedrooms and a hallway. Front door. Continue on. More bedrooms. Doors or archways out into here. Kitchen, common space, dining table, that sort of thing and eventually a porch. So let's pop some doors in so we can picture these. Bedroom doors made of wood. And there is something I do need to look at that I forgot to. Um, let's do, hold the shift down and try that again. Bedroom door, bedroom door, and front door. Yep, that'll be fine. Now, what I forgot to mention was when you get into walls, actually look at them. Scrap metal. Structural properties, awful thermal insulation. Sticks, awful thermal insulation. Wood, medium thermal insulation. Stone, medium. Okay, get into floors. We got differences, that's flooring. Floor. So soil, very weak support and awful thermal insulation. Same with scrap metal. Wood, very strong support and medium. Strong support medium. Get into metal eventually. Very strong, and but awful insulation. Yeah, metal gets cold. So I'm surprised stone is listed as medium. I mean, cold and heat transfer through brick buildings pretty easily. Wood is a good insulator. Stone, not so much. I mean, it does hold a day's heat and then radiate it back into the building. It's got a thermal mass effect. But, uh, mass effect, yeah. But, um, then at night it cools down to the temperature of the outside and it radiates that outside right back into the building. Believe me, I live in one of them. But, um, anyway, there are differences for the building materials to be aware of. That's what I was getting at. So, that is a... Did you not take? I thought I just put doors in. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look at that. What did I do? Door. Wood. Why didn't you... Okay. I guess it didn't. Maybe I had... I don't know what I had. Um, I don't want the stairs. How do I not get the stairs? Well, I'll put the stairs in and cancel you. Okay. All right. So we got that. If we were to put in a roof, now here's where it gets kind of difficult because the roofs, once they're built, you can't modify them later. So if I were to build a wooden roof over 
are there. Let's start at this point. Okay, why do you not like this? Do I have to... Oh, it's at a different level. That's what it is. Z. It, it started off at a higher... Well, I wish I could... Without letting go, can I... No, I can't move around. Okay. Anyway, let me see. Q and E, that works. Whoops, we'll do that. Okay. See, I can add a porch around it this way. So I think what I'm going to be doing is this. The problem is the roof. Oh, I wish I could change my angle of view here. Probably is a key that lets me do that. We've got a gabled roof. And it ends right here. Even if I throw an overhang around it, when I go to build these other buildings over here, it's not going to automatically extend the roof for me. That I'm aware of, unless they have fixed that. <clears throat> that doesn't seem to be a thing. So, let's wait on the roof. Let's just build this at the moment. Though they're going to want stairs to get up there. So I guess we'll go ahead and put the stairs back in. Wooden stairs... Now, let's go ahead and put a building, floor, wood, and you. We did go... There we are. Let's go ahead and put the front porch in. And we'll make it too deep. Okay. And I see we're building up to three deep out over here because of the grading. Hmm. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, so there, I've redone it so it's one level lower because it looks like it's going to keep building up higher and higher as we go and it's going to get expensive. So I went down to the lowest level over there to give us a start, which I think I did. That was a three. I think it's the lowest level. But yeah, it looks like as we get further into here, it's going to get more and more expensive. But there is a basic structure. I think I am not going to put the roof on until we have also added this in. Then we will start the gable from this end going this direction. Split like floor, no. Uh, building, roof, wood. And it does that because it starts off, see where it says 12? It should say 3. So, in other words, it started off with a a floor that is three levels high instead of uh, one level high but anyway I'm going to put a roof in like so where let's get a different angle from here so if we can get it built like so and just stop at this point and then we'll continue to add later we will have to worry about trying to merge different gables into each other and have that come out really odd but let's get this built first it is insufficient materials yeah it's already an expensive project so we need to cut down some more trees and i'm thinking these are it so orders cut let's grab all the trees right in here uh oh we just highlighted all kinds of stuff Research. Okay, I'm checking to make sure nothing's going on over there. Okay, so trees. Fallen tree, yeah, cut you. And three broadleaf trees, cut you. And it is starting to get dark. Let's grab more trees out of here. And six, three, cut. And that pathway. Let's leave you and take you out and take you out. And maybe garden is going to be down in here and promote them walking up and down that pathway. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so nighttime, get out of all that. Nighttime is happening. Simon is just about finished observing over here. Ah, there he is. We've discovered glitter caps. What are you? <clears throat> I have never seen mushrooms like these before. So I gave them the original name of Glitter Caps. They're quite poisonous. Oh, great. Hmm. But lose most of their toxicity when they mature and start glowing. I think that they will make a decent substitute for vegetables if gathered and cooked when fully mature. However, they are still slightly poisonous if consumed raw. Most importantly, they seem to have some medicinal properties and could be ground to make a simple healing balm. That's what I was hoping for. Unlocked harvesting and planting. Uh, down below and crafting. 
and construction of mushroom torches. Oh, there's more. Okay. So, mushroom torches and healing balm. So, let's head into here. No, we can't make it till we have it. Yeah. So, let's see here. I see lots of new things here, but orders, harvest. Which of these? Nothing. There, those came up. Cut. And... It says cut. Mark plants to cut. Cutting crops could lead to loss of harvest. I don't want to cut. I want to harvest. So, did I grab the wrong thing? You guys cancel. Let's try that again. Orders, harvest. So there is nothing here that is mature enough. Oh, we have a few over here. Uh, 14 glitter caps that are ready to harvest. There we go. And just to make sure I did you right. No, you're here too. Glitter caps. But you're not here to harvest. Okay. So we'll just do those. <clears throat> there. Now that it's dark, we can see them. I see there's some over here. Though, I don't want to send Rita all over the map hunting these down. Yeah, so let's call that good enough. Once we've harvested our first one, um, get into here. Carter is constructing. Simon is eating. He's a, he's a hungry boy. Paulette is making more bandages. Rita is harvesting. And harvesting, I think that is corn. <clears throat> the grain cob. Yeah. So cutting that down, dropped it on the ground. Are you going to pick them up? Or are you going to move on to the next plant? Ah, uh, Rita Harvest drops it on the ground. Paulette comes out to pick it up and probably grumbles the whole time. Yeah, that's, that's going to get fun later. Carter, you are constructing a wall torch. You need more logs. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have to force them to do some cutting tomorrow. I think I might just have to manually do that rather than get in and mess up all the orders and then have to undo all the orders. Cutting is not going to be that often. I think I'll just, yeah, we'll just special circumstance here. Now, Paulette is cooking. We've eaten up a bunch of our, let's do it over here, meals. Three grain porridge. She's just finishing up another one right now. And does it show our raw supplies? <clears throat> you? There we go. So we've got 190 grain. So we're capable of 19 more breakfasts before we run out. Okay. Um, now might be a good time to think about planting. So we've got in here a patch of grain cob. Is that enough? I never really noticed how much came off of a single plant. She did harvest one and drop ten. So ten per plant and ten per meal. That to me equals an awful lot of corn to plant. Hmm. And to make the better quality meals, it's a mixture of grain and something else, and the best quality and something else yet. So yeah, we need to be planting. Okay, so these may not be enough. Let's pop in another change crop, extend field. Okay, we can extend the... F Though, let's go ahead and put it in the better quality area. Let's go ahead and get some... Oh, it doesn't like growing up the hill. Okay, and you... Let's cancel you. I don't want to get into you. So let's move over... Oh, I see. It, it was already taken. You can't really see it, though. So not... Ex will it let me extend it? I guess it will. But there's that. So if I were to do that, all right, you can go there. 100% growth, grain cob, another one of you. Let's grab you, extend your blade grass, uh, that one, off in this area. And we'll put you right next door with one space in between. And let's come out further. We'll take these bushes down and drop you in. That's as far as you want to go. It's two spaces per plant. We'll stop there. I was debating whether to go further, but how much hay do you really need? I don't know. 
Roofs are wood, not thatch. Torches seem to take twigs? I think it's what it was. I think we'll probably call that good. It's three in the morning already. I haven't been here that long, have I? They're all sleeping over there. And we now have glitter caps. So let's make a huge field of those. They will be... Where's our pathway up? Right down here. What is that? Oh, you've got quite a noise, don't you? Yeah, you're just roosting in the trees there. That's actually a little creepy. <laughs> there... What is that? That almost looks like a glitter cap, but it's not. So let's do a space over. Come on down like so. And not too far up into that field. Why are you stop? Oh, maximum length. Okay. So the pathway comes down over there, I think. Let's pop you in something like that. Okay. Pathway does right down here. So we could have put another patch of something right there. So you're going to come down the path. Got a couple of these guys here. What do we call them again? They are Pankoths. Okay, a couple of those. Um, yeah, farming. That's good enough for now. What are you guys? You just, just kind of bug me. I just want to clean that up. Sun is coming back up. Um, Simon is up. He is. He gets up early. Did he have disturbed sleep? Okay. Did he have a perk? That's here. Movement speed. His health recovers faster, but nothing about uh, a fast sleeper. Hmm. Um, Simon, I had distracted from researching. Rita is going to need to be planting like crazy. She doesn't have... Any, she has one more harvest job left over there and a few more over here. No. That one, can I click that? No, let's get in there. That was an observe, which now no longer needs. No, it's a harvest. Okay. So we'll harvest, we'll cancel that harvest. We'll wait till we can do all of them at once. So that puts her taking care of that one plant that's left, which really I could cancel that too. And, oh, that was a berry plant. That wasn't a corn. I do want you observed. Okay, never mind. Was so the grain cobs are all done. Okay, we did get these observed and they can be harvested. Okay, orders harvest right there. Let's get that harvested so we can figure out what to do with that or at least store it. Otherwise, what I'm trying to say is Rita is going to spend the day planting and get us all caught up there before I give her any more harvesting orders. But we do want to get the, the cotton in just so we can get that into our workbench or research or something. Otherwise, Paulette is working here. I Can I tell her not to build or cook anything? Grain porridge. I have two orders in there. I must have clicked it. Yeah, I did click that other one accidentally. Um, so nothing about forbidding. You just choose your recipes carefully. Veggie soup could be, you see down there, glitter caps is one of the choices. Meat soup. Bug meat. That's the green stuff. Mm. Cooked emergency rations. You can cook them and get um, health effects. Otherwise, food... Can I click on an emergency ration and get a pop-up? Yeah, it's got a long shelf life. Oh, outside, 24 days. Under a roof, indefinite. There we go. So let's look at shelf life. Curious, right there. So outside, two days. Under a roof, four days. Refrigerated, eight days. Frozen, indefinite. Okay, that's good to know. So we... Putting, uh, I wanted to prove to myself that putting things under an eave on the side of a building does have some benefit, and under a roof is a category. So that's good. I see we've just stripped out all of the lumber, all the logs we had brought all the way down here <laughs> and brought it all up there. Before we bring any more down here, maybe we ought to create a more permanent stockpile area up here. Where that is, I don't know. I don't see us building out the back end of this any further, so this could be it. 
Yeah. Let's do that. Storage. Stockpile. Let's put a row... Uh, I can't double up. So, row of six right there. And you will be what? Clear all. Construction, you will be wood. Where else would we use stone? I don't know. We'll just do wood here for, for the moment, and we will say no wood over here. So any more wood cutting is probably going to be up in here anyway. No point in transporting it all the way down there to bring it all the way back up here. So we do have glitter caps now. Let's take care of that. Craft. Healing bomb. But it says that... It's not lit up. Why? To unlock the recipe, collect glitter caps. Oh, we haven't? But there's no more lit up in here. All right, let's play with that again. Harvest. Was that a deja vu moment? No, you are kind of lit up. I don't have anything to click to save. Be sure to do it. Let's pull up over here. Glitter caps. There is a harvest there. Um, let's go a little further out into here. Glitter caps. Now the rest are only cut, so they're not harvestable. But they are marked. Okay. Rita, where were you when I just bothered you? Let's get you back. There we are. That's right. I had turned that off when I was trying to not move the camera at all and refresh this blueprint to find out that I couldn't build the wall to this point because it kept touching right there and it wouldn't let me click. So I turned those off. <laughs> I forgot about it. Anyway, Carter is putting up our really nice log cabin which I wish it was that easy to build a log cabin. It is not. I uh, I helped out building one once. It was, it's, those logs are heavy. Maybe I'll tell you that story someday. Anyway, we do have a little bit of, of uh, stockpile space already built. I just stuck this out here till I could figure out where I really wanted it, but it's there for now. I'd like to have it go forward, but then that sends a pathway down the hill. Don't know if that works. Maybe this is the right way to kind of aim us down this way. Maybe when the porch extends over, I'll pop it off of this end. Maybe two stairs come off this way and come off this way, and maybe even a wraparound porch. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Anyway, what else is going on? So, taking a pleasant walk. Pleasant walk. Okay, so we have started adding bonuses in, and no more negatives disturbed sleep was annoyed by Simon Simon knock it off and was annoyed by Rita Rita knock it off so <laughs> apparently they too have personalities that don't uh, mesh up perfectly um, so we've got a structure built we've got some lighting in over here Let's pop some lighting in around the gardens. Did I see... Where is... Light. No, I thought there was a... Like a stand lamp. There you are. So, torch. Let's put some of you in. Um, shift. Rita will probably be getting to this at night. By the time she gets around to, to doing this work. So let's kind of light this area up a bit. Pop you there. Insufficient. Obtain sticks. Yeah, okay. That's fair. And mostly it makes it look good on a YouTube video if we can light up the area for those times when the video is so dark you can't see what's going on. Including lighting up around our structure. Hmm. Let's let's pop you in right there. And for the moment, I guess we'll just put one right out there. Don't know how far we're going to build back or what else is going in these areas, so I'll leave the back end a mystery. So we need more. We need to assign more. Let's pause a second here. Paulette, you are cooking. What it says? You're transporting. You're transporting... 
Sticks. So, where are you? You're over here. Where did you find sticks? You're... Oh, you're taking the sticks we already have in stock and depositing them into the... Yeah, into the construction. So you are transporting building materials. Okay. But we do need more sticks. We have plenty of hay. We're going to need more logs. Paulette, let's let you transport these 12. So that's two torches worth. And while you're over here, why don't you start cutting broadleaf bushes? There we go. Held the shift down when I did that so it didn't cancel this order. It just added it to it. Now you are constructing a torch. How about you cut some trees for me? We're going to need more logs. So why don't you cut two trees? And when you're done, why don't you cut two trees? Thank you. Rita is bringing in the glitter caps she just harvested. Great. Now let's try this. Click away. There. Oh, no active task. I thought it was telling me that Rita had no active task. All right, so craft healing balm, finally. Extract antiseptic paste from glitter caps. Okay, let's have 10 of those in stock at all times, too. Until 10. All right, and it's getting dark again. Now, I did just stop Carter from constructing torches, didn't I? Yeah. Well, next episode will have light <laughs> so in this case we could quick recipe veggie soup because we have glitter caps pumpkins why have we never researched pumpkins rita found simon's words comforting he apologized good job simon i remember now obtain sticks the end of the, or during the very first episode, I was wandering out there, noticed these, and said we need to research that, but there's no point in having them walk all the way out there. Let's instead have them do one that's over here next to uh, our camp. And then I never said do it. I remember that now. So we're not going to cook with our glitter caps, but we could cook with these, and there's a whole bunch of them. So... That needs to be observed, but I want Rita to get some planting done. Um, Paulette, you're transporting. Is there any chance you can build? Transport that one, and then come out here and build this. And Rita, just out of curiosity, can you pop that one in? And Carter is still dropping logs over here. <clears throat> I should have reversed that. They would have less distance to walk. Simon is researching uh, insufficient materials, a bunch of logs. What are you researching right now? We are on wooden fortifications and we're almost done with that. Okay. And obtaining sticks. Um, yes, thank you. We, we have sticks up there. All right. I guess you just wanted me to know, not telling me that I need to. Maybe that's it. Uh, if you find yourself short on sticks, you can cut down bushes or split wood on a chopping block. It is located in the production menu. Yes, and thank you. All right. So there goes one of our click, click. Nope, he's too quick for me. One of our pancoths. At least I assume. Are there any other birds up here? That one was really dark. You are a pancoth. I wonder if there's any other variety of birds, and I'm just assuming that they're all the same one. Hmm. We did get some light. Good. So Rita is still planting in the dark. And is there a negative for that? It's dark! Rita, why don't you come over here and build this? Uh, try that again. Reserve for Carter. Alright, we'll let Carter do it. And somebody just flew by again. Right over there. Um, where are we time-wise? Let's get through this night and we'll call this an episode. So what's happening here? Paulette is getting the glitter caps so she can work on our antiseptics or healing balm let's watch this <clears throat> Ooh, got a science experiment going on fun and these are our bandages or our cloth or our wait a minute uh, there that is our cloth that doesn't look like cloth to me that looks like the 
blossoms of these. And it is. We're down to just those now. Okay. So, but it counts as cloth. Like, we don't have to weave it. Is that really a thing? 155 cloth. Huh. Okay. Um, outside, they will rot under a roof or refrigerated. They'll last forever. Okay. Ready to reach physical, too. Great. Outside, they will rot in 48 days. I'm just thinking about wearing cloth outside for 48 days. Will it rot on, on, your, on your frame? Anyway, uh, Paulette is done going to sleep. Healing Balm is new. It, it's not going to tell us anything we don't already know. Okay, so that's done. Simon is almost finished with that. Carter is constructing a torch. Rita is calling it a night. There's our last torch over there. Well, we've got two more over here. And we've got our torches in inside. So Simon is now not complaining. That is dark. Good. Paulette can cook in the night. We have some bug meat. Right there. Raw insect meat. We'd better get that cooked. <clears throat> Even under a roof, it's going to fall apart in eight days. So eight, no, eleven. How do we deal with that? And all of these are lit up. Well, they're all bright, but they're not necessarily containing a recipe. Okay, so just quick ones. Meat soup. Needs ten meat to make one meat soup. Okay, let's make... Well, we'll, just, we'll put it in the list. Meat soup... What happened to my... Let's have four of those, but... Where is... Oh, here they are. I thought that my grain porridge went away. So meat soup until there's four, and and uh, grain porridge until there's four, and we've already reached the limit for grain porridge. So that is going to happen. Carter's going to sleep. And where are we for the night? Let's kind of do a quick evaluation here. We've got materials delivered to a lot of the floor. We've got some of the walls built, one little floor over here built and a design that's going to be interesting to watch be put together next episode. We've got glitter caps harvested. We need to cut more here. Lots of bushes to cut, lots of trees to cut, and lots of stone to uh, to pick at. And we've still got two... Sh two uh, this is all one group of ships, I'm pretty sure. These individual? I think it's all the same ship. So two ships, two scavenge. And some more observing to do. Otherwise, I'd say we're we're looking pretty good. We haven't had our first bug attack yet. I'm going to throw out the guess that that's tomorrow. It's, it's I've expected it by now. So that sounds like something that'll be good to start the next episode with. Well, I do see that we've got... Where'd you go? Right there. A shooting target. That's new. There's our dartboard. We need metal for the dartboard. We need leather for the punching pole. So these are things that I assume will yeah, use for relaxation. Relaxation, relaxation, and armchair is used for relaxation. And we need metal for that too. I guess it's a metal frame. Okay. That music changed just then. I noticed that. Did you? That one. I don't recall hearing that before. Remember in Kingdom, and Kingdom New Hope, I think was the name, when it was the seventh day, now day six, and you knew a blood moon was coming and an attack was coming in, the music would change. Early access feedback. It wants me to take a poll. Um, I wonder if... Let's keep in mind for next episode, that music, you just heard it again, is this the day we get our first attack? And if so, if I'm right that I've never heard that music before, that might be a clue as to the day an attack's coming in. But with that, I'm going to hit pause here. It's nice and orange out there, sunrise, and I think it's a good time to, to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.